things and places we visit as children can attach a special meaning to our hearts. For Byron, it's the memory of riding along in his grandfather's pickup truck for another adventure at the Fish House that he holds dear to his heart. His truck beckoned me basically to play. We lived in, on Ontario and he used to take me down to the lake in the truck and he was the manager of an old time fish house where they processed fish and um, yeah, it was very cool. I reminisce about that childhood and that's why I wanted the truck to be Arthur. And to relive part of his childhood, Byron restored a 1957 Chevy truck, the same as what his grandfather drove. The color is amazing. It's Indian turquoise and Bombay ivory, that's what it's called. Uh, it's the original color of the truck and I don't know how many people give me the thumbs up or the smiles or everything else when they see this vehicle and if I stop and ask them why, they say because of the color. That's what, that's what Grandpa's truck was. So let's open up the hood now. Although the exterior of this truck stays true to Byron's childhood memory, under the hood does anything but. This truck did not drive well when it was stock. It was all over the road. I've had a stock truck, a 1955 I had, and it was completely stock. And um, that's why I built this one the way I did, because I've already done the completely stock thing. They handle terribly, they don't stop very well, they're slow, they burn gas like crazy. Um, so yeah, I wanted, I wanted a modern day driver. Yeah, something that I could really enjoy. I have a 1995 Corvette motor in this truck. Okay. And it's all computerized. Do you think that's where classic cars are heading? Absolutely, it's electronic fuel injection. It's a way uh, better way to go, in my opinion, with regards to fuel efficiency, with regards to um, the up-to-date technology. And uh, yeah, kids are going to be more turned on by it. I mean, I, I'm a high school teacher, and I see them when, when I show them my truck how much they really appreciate this type of technology. I drive it every day. It's a daily driver. I've got over 10,000 miles on it now, and I guess I've been driving it two years. So yeah, I wanted a real special, easy drive vehicle. Byron does show his car every now and again. He says he built it to drive, not sit idle to look good. I don't believe in building a car and then putting it in a trailer, taking it to a show, taking it out of the trailer, showing it, putting it back in the trailer and taking it home. I mean, that's no fun for me. The fun for me is driving it. The fun for me is smoking the tires. The fun for me is having fun with it. This fun hobby comes with a very expensive price tag. Byron sunk about $60,000 into building this car, $12,000 on the paint job alone. No hot rodder will ever get their money back when they build their own hot rod. Uh, very seldom do you get your money out of your build. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it's fun. It's a hobby. Um, I love this truck. This is my fourth or fifth truck. Um, I really put my all into this truck because this is, this is Grandpa's truck. This is Arthur, right? So I really went, went to town on this one and I will never get my money out of it, and I don't ever plan to sell it. In my opinion, it's the Cadillac of the Tri-5s. Most chrome, most glitz. This 1957 is the last year of the Tri-5s, and it's Chevy's best attempt at the two headlight pickup. After this year, they made them into four headlights. The truck has been optioned out as much as possible from the era. The custom cab, hood, and bumper are all options. Byron says nothing but the best for his grandfather's memory. You put your heart and your soul into it, um, especially when it means so much to you. This has a real foundation feeling to me as a child. And uh, yeah, I wanted it to be something really special, so that's why I wanted to build it. In Qualicum for Calendar Cars, I'm Ryan the Plant.